time we left her in the Satara area of Kruger National Park, where we got to feed a hippo, got chased by elephants, and had a close encounter with pride of lions. This time we're heading across to Lower Sabi to hopefully see rhinos and hippos. The start of our morning drive was absolutely amazing. We very quickly found a big dam with lots of animals. After observing the elephants for a little while, we noticed that those in deeper water were cooling down by submerging themselves. Whilst the elephants in the shallow water were using the mud to coat themselves. I guess that's their version of sunscreen. One elephant snuck away from the dam to his secret drinking point, a water tank. We'll make it home. This is where we also saw our first hippo and crocodile. Further along the way, we stopped at a Cape picnic area where we got to try kudu and buffalo pies. During our lunch, we saw a hyena walking along a nearby track. A few minutes earlier, a lady had also been walking on the same path. We ran into an elephant on the road. At first, we thought that Callum might have been a tad over cautious. However, Callum then informed us that this elephant owned the road and had no intention of getting off it in a hurry. So there was no point in driving any closer. A few minutes later, a courageous driver decided to prove us wrong and simply drove past us towards the elephant. Once he reached the elephant, he seemed to have second thoughts, or in this case was confronted by a second elephant, and very quickly did a U-turn and headed back our way. It wasn't long before he ran into more elephants. When we make it... Then, very quickly, it felt like we were driving into a different world. The grass was greener, the sky was moody and the temperature cooler. It was at this time that we were excited to finally see our first theme park. And then, just as we thought the day could not get any better, we saw our first rhino. Hi, why don't you come in and take a look at our lower Sabi house. This is our mum and dad's bedroom. This is the dining room with a spare bed. And this is our very small kitchen. Through here is Poppy and my bedroom. That night, the baboons finally got us. They'd made several holes in the roof, 
So poor mum and dad were up at 3am running around with pots and a bucket. This was the first of two occasions that we were subjected to a baboon prank. Later on that day, we went to use a toilet at a picnic ground and found that it had just been serviced by baboons. Once again, it's 5am and we're heading out on a morning drive in Lower Sabi. But this time, we're doing it with the rain. Although we quickly found some elephants in impalas, with the vegetation so thick in this area, it was hard to spot most animals. In this area, we did notice that the one animal that seemed to be more prevalent was our roof plumber, the baboon. that had been difficult to spot until Lovasabi was the Nyala. Although there were longer periods between animal sightings, Dad loved doing the four-wheel driving, especially the water crossing. Boys. We did not hear making noises until we got to Lawasapi was the zebra. Always, we were never too far away from the next elephant. One of the best experiences for us on the first day was definitely when a young male lion crossed the road in front of us. He was walking around calling for his girlfriend, who turned up a few minutes later and they quickly ran off together. We figured that she was just camera shy. Little did we know that the next amazing experience was just over this hill ahead of us. Nope. Although we did like seeing wildebeest, this is not what Raquel meant. We just saw a rhino. the elephants, there's something magical about the rhinos. Again, we heard about publishing this vlog as we wanted to make sure that poachers could not find this rhino by using our footage. A 
as long as keep on moving. By now, this one has long left the area. Fun fact! What do you call a group of rhinos? A crash! Even small creatures can be absolutely beautiful, like this leopard tortoise. advantage of staying at the Lovasabi campsite was that you could see one of the main attractions from the restaurant. Callum was saying that you don't often get to see hippos walking around during the day as their skin is extremely sensitive to the sun. Another reason that I was grateful that Katra and Callum organised for it to rain during our stay. Hippopotamuses apparently got their name from the ancient Greek words for river horse. Their closest living animal relatives are the cetaceans, like whales and dolphins. Believe it or not, hippos do not really swim. Their method of travel is simple. They walk underwater, just as well they can hold their breath for three to five minutes. On one of the days, as there was a mix up with our accommodation, we all went on a complimentary evening drive. The driver was great fun. He was called Lunga. Within minutes, we were treated to numerous animals crossing our path. After a few minutes, Lunga took us down a track that is off limits to other drivers. And to add to that, he allowed us kids to have turns sitting in the front cabin. It was funny seeing the lion asleep and not aware that a wildebeest just accidentally ran into him and quickly tiptoed back the way it came. Towards the end of the night, we had an opportunity to stretch our legs. Under the watchful eye and rifle of Lunga, this time around, I really am I but the lucky ones to hold the spotlight. Once we got back after a quick dinner, we fell asleep to the sweet lullaby of the hippos. <laughs> was also packed with excitement and adventure. It started with us having a male and female lion walking towards us on the road. Then later in the afternoon, we had the pleasure of seeing two beautiful cheetahs. Day, we found ourselves treated to what felt like a continuous parade of animals that were all wanting to wish us farewell. informed us that not too far away they spotted two lions that were resting in an open area 
tucked away from the main road. One fun fact that Katja taught us is that the male lion's mane gets darker with age. We all absolutely love staying at Kruger National Park. It will be in our memories forever.